we're going to talk about cleaning syringes. There's a couple of common types that are used in feed yards and a, and a third one that I'm going to introduce you to today. The old standby metal pistol grip syringe is one of those common used. And everybody knows how to take them apart and, and clean them up. The issue is that we frequently contaminate the inside of the barrel of the syringe after we've got it cleaned. Those contaminations can cause injection site lesions and, and, and literally make steers sick if the infection associated with that contamination creates a disease called phlegmonous cellulitis. Once these syringes have been cleaned, boiling water in a standard microwave, of which I've already done, for about five minutes, just until it's boiling really well, really good, tightening up the rubbers inside the syringe, and refilling the syringe about three times to flush out the syringe. As long as that boiling water is still above 180 degrees, it will meet uh, standard sanitation practices. Three times in a syringe. And after the cleaning, we've now got a one final sanitizing that allows us to then store the syringe in a clean bag such as a such as a Ziploc. These should be stored in a dust-free environment and one of our favorite places around feed yards is literally to put them in the freezer. If you sanitize the syringe and need to use it immediately, that syringe gathers a lot of heat and you need to give it about 10 minutes to cool off as it will severely damage modified live vaccines. Uh, and if you freeze it, you need to give it time to warm back up. The second type of syringe I'll talk about may be <clears throat> one of my favorite of all. We use it for uh, vaccinations. We use it for uh, local anesthetics when we're castrating or dehorning cattle. These syringes can be a real challenge to clean they, because they don't come apart in, in the standard fashion that we have with our other syringes. We can remove the top and get that, that portion clean, but there's a number of parts down inside and va valves inside the syringe that are very difficult to get to. But if you'll open those syringes back up to their full capacity, in this case this is a 5cc syringe, immerse it in water and completely fill it with clean water until the syringe, all the tubes, and all the parts are completely full of water. Roll it up. And wrap it in paper towels, just plain paper towels. We're wrapping it in paper towels that we're gonna soak with water. There are a few metal parts inside that syringe that will cause sparking inside a microwave oven. We'll open a new Ziploc bag, place the syringe inside the bag, open the microwave oven, set it in the oven, leaving the bag open. Press five minutes, and at the end of five minutes, you have a sterile syringe. When it comes back out, all the parts are going to be misfit. In other words, uh, things contract and expand according to temperature, heat and cold. So before you use those syringes in order to have accurate doses, you need to let them cool off as well. I'll short circuit our cleaning. When you're finished, without taking it out, ooh, it's already hot. Uh, you're literally boiling. There's nothing magic about the microwave oven. It's heat sterilization. We'll seal the bag, and again, in our case, we store these wet syringes, these plastic ones, always in a freezer uh, because of the, the fear of mold and those kinds of things that can happen in, in other storage. The third type syringe I'll introduce you to is, is re reasonably new to me. Uh, this is a syringe that doesn't require much cleaning at all in that it has a cap that protects the needle from bending and breaking but the barrel inside this syringe is disposable. So when this, at the end of the day and it's finished, we pull that off and for the next day, bring out a brand new sterile 
barrel. The rubber gasket is already inside. Insert the syringe, lock it in place. Slide this down onto the gasket. It screws into the rubber gasket. Place a needle. A one, -inch, a one inch needle will give you a five eighths inch clearance at the end. Uh, three quarter will give you a, a three eighths clearance, which is perfect for a subcutaneous injection. And you've got a sterile syringe ready to go. These replacement barrels are about a dollar and a quarter. Visit with your local animal health distributor, and I'm sure they can get you fixed up. Thank you.